What is your favorite fun conspiracy theory? Adam Sandler keeps casting Drew Barrymore as his love interest in his movies because he's in love w her. Or he hates her and wants to tank her average movie ratings. That Kim Jong-un, educated in Switzerland, has a very good idea just how bad the life of regular North Korean citizen is. He can't just open the borders though, because his generals would murder him if they knew he was planning to do it. So he does batshit insane stuff to provoke other countries into invading. This whole time he was playing the anti-hero. My favorite bagel from Tim Hortons had always been the poppy seed bagel. About 15ish years ago I noticed it was harder and harder to find one such that they were practically, if not totally, no longer sold. That coincidentally was around the time of the start of the land war in Afghanistan. I believe Tim Hortons had been sourcing their poppy seeds from Taliban opium farmers in Afghanistan, but being good patriots, stopped when Canada got involved in the war there. Though recently Tim Hortons has started selling a poppy seed muffin, so they've obviously found a new supplier. I just finished reading Narconomics on the economics of drug cartels. All the H in the US nowadays is from Mexican poppy farms. The seeds would likely be too. So obviously, passing NAFTA was the first step in Tim Horton's plan to lower the price of poppy seeds for their bagels. That North Korea is actually a paradise on earth and we're just brainwashed by propaganda. Is this where someone is supposed to come along and make you a moderator of a Pyongyang? They put an alien back on the moon. Neil Armstrong. Neil A. Backwards that spells alien. I had a teacher in elementary school named Neela. She actually told her students they could call her alien if they wanted to. Galaxy Quest was originally supposed to be literally, instead of figuratively or metaphorically, about Star Trek. It was shopped around as a movie starring Shatner, Nimoy, Nichols, et al. But when they couldn't get the real crew together they decided to make it a pure parody. That interesting. That's pretty similar to the story for Seth MacFarlane's upcoming show The Orville. Seth loves Star Trek and has been trying for years to make an official Star Trek show that would be more humorous than the others. Either about an inept bridge crew or about a group of nobodies that are among the other 1000 people on Starship. But he couldn't get the Star Trek rights. That in certain scenes in the original Star Wars, Luke is replaced by a slightly larger version known as Bigger Luke. Some people believe that instead of Luke and Bigger Luke, it's actually Luke and Smaller Luke. Those bastards. In every movie Ryan Gosling has been in since Drive, he has played the driver. Absolutely no evidence but I enjoy finding parallels. Ryan Gosling has two characters, serious and quiet, or funny and quiet. I love them both. That all of these Ask Reddit threads are posted by people working for BuzzFeed and tomorrow we can expect an article entitled 10 hilarious conspiracy theories some people actually believe. There are websites that wholly rip off Ask Reddit threads and advertise on Facebook. It's weird. All I'm saying is that since Verizon released an unlimited plan, I seem to burn through my 4GB plan a little faster. That the US government was prepared to, but did not in fact, Fake the moon landings. From Futurama's Roswell that ends well. Truman. Whistling Dixie. I want this sent to Area 51 for study. General. But sir. That's where we're building the fake moon landing set. Truman. Then we'll have to really land on the moon. Invent NASA and tell them to get off their fannies. Stevie Wonder isn't blind. Let the bodies hit the floor and it's raining men are both songs about the same event but from wildly different views. I like this. Girl pants have small pockets so that they'll buy pursues. Small back pockets make your butt look bigger. Computer viruses are actually created by the antivirus companies themselves. Why? Because they need people to buy their products, of course. Though for all I know this one could actually be true lol. Sleep paralysis is a hoax perpetrated by vampires to explain their feeding habits. No. I have had sleep paralysis it is definitely real. An unrelated conspiracy theory is the idea that garlic is good for you. It is actually really bad for you. So feel free to throw all of that out. Also, sharp pieces of wood are the number one cause of household injuries so make sure you don't have any of those laying around. Big Mason Jar secretly founded Pinterest to boost sales. 
Interesting fact. Ball, the company behind the popular mason jar, also makes satellites and has been in the satellite business since almost the very beginning 1959. Tommy Wiseau is actually B.B. Cooper. I did not hijack, I did not. This is my own, and I'm sure it's not even legit, but hey it's fun right? Sometimes I like to pretend that mythology, Greek, Roman, Norse, ETC, wasn't actually their belief but their superheroes. Think about it, they had stories and plays written on these guys. The statues seem a little crazy but we now have a Captain America statue in NY, so who knows, maybe one day people we think we're crazy for worshipping a guy with an American flag shield that he beat people with? I'm looking forward to archaeologists digging up Pikachu statues. That Snapchat W filter was pushed by the CIA as a way to get the masses to help them master facial recognition software. In my experience, they must also be masters at penis recognition software by now. From a South Park episode, Bush didn't do 9-11. He did the Bush did 9-11 theories. He felt that the American government wasn't being taken seriously, so he hired people to spread the lie that 9-11 was an inside job to make himself look more menacing. About 10 years ago there was a football player at Florida State University named Decadi Fag. He was projected to be a second round pick in the NFL draft but suffered a non-contact injury on a routine play at the scouting combine and never went on to play in the NFL. My outrageous conspiracy theory is that the NFL paid him to fake an injury and stay out of the league because of his name. I don't think they wanted their announcers yelling fag, or wanted to sell fag jerseys, or have fans writing fag puns on signs, etc. Too much potential for people to get offended. So that's my fun theory. I like this one. It sounds fairly plausible without being spooky or dangerous. There are names in sports that are ripe for ridicule though. Rusty Kuntz, current first base coach for the KC Royals comes to mind. People in Hollywood regularly use false names and I wonder how common this is in sports too. I once knew this guy. He was convinced about this. Apparently, one time whilst on holiday in the Bahamas, he was walking along the sea, alone. He was on a raised kind of road thing. It wasn't a beach, so he could look to his left. He gave me a very detailed recap, and would be looking at the sea, as he was walking he suddenly his great day, he glances down into the water from where the sound came expecting to find a person, instead he sees a dolphin, looking up at him, it stares at him before swimming off, from that point on he was convinced that there are hyper intelligent dolphins living in the ocean that have learnt our language. I want to believe. That the Pacific Rim script is the remnant of the script from one of the ill-fated live-action Evangelion projects, after years of being shopped around and undergoing multiple rewrites. There is a man in California who swears with absolute certainty that author Stephen King murdered John Lennon. It's sad, because based on his web journal entries you can tell that this man is not well, but the premise is hilarious. LennonMurderTruth.com Jesse's girl and Stacy's mom are the same person. That Kronk from the Emperor's New Groove was originally a chipmunk turned human by Ismo with a potion. It explains his behavior and how he can talk to animals. And his obsession with nuts. That under LL Cool J's skullcap is just an exposed brain. And the very few and far between times you actually see him hatless. It's just a really well blended bald cap. I guess people who believe that don't watch NCIS Los Angeles. Tupac is alive and well in Cuba. He has Fetty Wap Cyball and is using it as a crystal ball and GPS to try and locate Biggie, who's alive somewhere in the world. Throwback Thursday and the like were invented and popularized by Google, Facebook etc so that people would upload their pre-digital photos to the internet, thus enabling said companies to collect more data points about our facial features, lives, whatever. I had a similar theory, Facebook memories was an ingenious ploy to double their usage through reposts. I posted this ages ago, and I have no proof, so bear with me. So, there was an Australian band called Tism, and I've been a huge fan for most of my life. Most people would know them from their song Everybody Else Has Had More Sex Than Me which had a viral video back in 04, but most Australians would know them probably from their 1995 song, He'll Never Be An, Old Man River, 
That song features the famous line I'm on the drug that killed River Phoenix, and enrage famous friends of Phoenix such as Flea from Red Hot Chili Peppers. Now, two years before that song came out, Tism released a song called Chess Baragwanath. State Auditor General which has a riff after the intro which sounds a lot like the start of RHCP's 1999 song Around the World. I've got no proof, but here's all I have. RHCP were P that Tism makes fun of their deceased friend. What better way to get back at a comparatively small band by copying one of their riffs and having it become a hit. It was released on the next album after Tism released their song. It's probably just a coincidence, but I feel fairly convinced. Another one is that Tism was actually the Wiggles, who wanted a side project in a more adult band to escape from all the kiddie stuff. That's why they never took off the balaclavas. The Olsen twins are actually quadruplets. It took two of them to play one character on Full House, and we're seeing two of them on TV now. It can only mean one thing. The Air Force hired the village people to make a song about the Navy. That paper plate companies have already invented a paper material that causes the stacked plates to not stick together. They keep this formula secret so that we use more paper plates than we need and have to buy more. I just buy the more expensive plates. When phone companies have a new phone coming out they push updates to older phones that cause problems such as battery and speed issues. Those problems get people to purchase the new phones. Contact lens cases are bigger than they need to be so you have to buy more fluid to fill them. Those little signs that you see on the side of the road offering to buy your house or sell you mattresses is actually a secret society and those signs are used to communicate with members that aren't local. That the chickens are up to something. The chickens are revolting. Finally we agree on something. Cosmopolitan magazine is written primarily for a single, female audience. So, they make no effort to publish useful relationship advice, but instead knowingly publish useless, harmful and even dangerous advice, ensuring that their readers remain single and continue to purchase Cosmo. My theory is that Cosmo knows its sex tips are a joke and publish ridiculous ones just so women buy the magazine to read ridiculous tips. Source, woman who buys Cosmo for ridiculous sex tips. Somebody at the our old school cool sub just posted a picture of the young queen and apparently British people are born when she lays their eggs. The question asked for theories, not facts. Keanu Reeves is immortal and has lived as a bunch of historical figures like Charlemagne and Stalin. Sean Bean is immortal and dying in films is the only way he'll experience it. The Star Wars prequels were told from the view of R2-D2 to make himself look more heroic and the human interactions more awkward because he didn't really understand them. We don't have jetpacks because we could get to any height we want, and Big Ladder don't play that crap. Reddit was created by Chinese and Russian agents to harm US productivity and give those countries a competitive advantage. Right now over 10 million dozen American office workers are online in their air-conditioned offices reading this post while they should be doing productive work. Meanwhile the Russians and Chinese are hard at work in their vodka factories, potato fields and coal mines making their countries more productive. Right now over 10 million American office workers are online in their air-conditioned offices reading this post while they should be doing productive work. Hooray. I'm a statistic. Avril Lavigne died in the early 2000s and was replaced with a look-alike conspiracy thread. Also the similar theories with Andrew WK. Bonus points because he occasionally says cryptic things to play into the theory. I think it is because he enjoys messing with people. I think R2-D2 killed the red droid so Luke would take him. And I think the Russians stole the moon. You have been visited by the source Chihuahua. You will be blessed with good pasta. But only if you comment simmer well. Papa if you are new to the channel. You can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then. Check another video. Or don't. Either way. Have a great day you magnificent people.